Welcome everyone, Dr. Thor here. Well, let me go back and show you. I've just taken this apart, so I'll make a part two here in terms of what's on this particular or uh, in this particular little tool. Um, so here's actually the circuit board and there is some writing on here. I couldn't see it from my position before. See if we can get in there, if I can. For some reason my camera doesn't want to get close recently. Let's see what that capacitor reads. Now this capacitor reads, you probably can't see it. Oh, this camera used to be able to get close like that, but the capacitor reads K9 220116H as in hat. Okay, that's what that is. Now, this one, let me see if I can read the actual processor here. J as in Jack, G as in George. Looks like one B zero eight A G is in George. Underneath that is L as in Lincoln, M as in Mary, thirty nine one five N as in Nancy hyphen one. So why am I? Focus doesn't work like uh, that anymore. Used to be able to get close to the thing I to check my camera settings. Um, okay, there we go. For those who want to figure out or know if these have anything special to them. There's your on and off switch. There's your input. And of course, here's your standard, um, your standard battery uh, holder. Nothing special about that. Okay, so, and here, of course, we're going to look at, this is your typical little sacred geometry. Those look like metallic little circles there in the back. That they're connected into the design on the front on each one of these on the side here. And of course, this is your typical circuit board cut out in a particular way. There's nothing special there. There is no conductivity. Uh, and let's go over here. This is your typical... Um, now, this could be several things. This is usually what you find in uh, 7.8... Schumann resonance uh, generators. The Earth generators generally have uh, panels like this that create that energy. And of course, that's one of those miracle frequencies, so everybody thinks, uh, that actually um, creates uh, manifestation energy. So if everything lives within 7.8 frequency, and that's not exactly all over the place, but it's in that area, 8 uh, megahertz, 7.8 megahertz. And again, where we're dealing with megahertz, um, 
or I should say Hertzian energies, um, which I think is missing the boat, but this is what primitive science has come down to because they can't measure anything else because they're kind of too stupid. And that's really it, people. There's, there's no mincing words here. They just don't know anything else. It does show apparently that these, uh, this is where the actual, this is where the actual metal um, in between, I don't know what you call those. That's where these were, that keep everything together were through here. So I guess we are getting some sort of flow um, from here into that. And then it goes up into the units to a degree. So there may be some amount of energy being transferred. But again, this is a very neutral plate. This is, uh, you have to pump something into this to change it into what you want it to. Uh, so this has a general neutral, or, and you could say kind of amplifying energy to it. So uh, whatever mystery there has now been unraveled and uh, whatever all that means. Um, so this is that, I forget what they call this in general, um, but these are the things that you'll see uh, in a lot of places uh, from Serbia. Uh, that makes all these different interesting um, types of plates, etc. And again, they lack real oomph. They just um, do uh, give a minor empowerment, depending on what the actual disc is. And they vary radically, the thickness of the plates, uh, the type they have. They have very small ones, they're very big ones. So there's, it really depends on what you're looking for. But I don't recommend any of that. It's a lot of cost without much of a payback. So I hope you enjoyed. Watch for more coming.